Hello, Pasangala. Anakam and welcome. This is your master teacher, Niveta, making bio learning very, very simplified just for all of you guys. So, before I get into the session, we have Vati's top question. You'll be getting five very simple questions by the end of the session. Okay, do test yourself immediately what you have learned. So, in the ma'am, in the class, I'm going to be starting a very, very important unit human physiology, body fluids, and circulation. Okay, so in the class, what will be the learning outcome? You will basically try to understand what circulation is. Body fluids, blood, lymph, clear. Then we are also going to understand what is the blood grouping and coagulation. So that is the agenda of today's class. So one session. So session is interesting question. How many liters of blood are present in human body? So you know blood is a circulatory fluid, correct? So we have blood in our flow liter blood. What do you mean? If you answer the answer, please do put it in the chat section. By the end of the session, I will tell you the answer. Okay, do stay tuned, stay with me till the end. It's going to be a short session wherein I'm going to do very, very, very important things today. Okay, so one session will go on. NCRT line by line. So, if you study NCRT line by line, you will be preparing for your boards as well as for your NEET exam. So, first of all, if you look at the body fluids, what are the body fluids? What are the body fluids? What are the body fluids? So, body fluids are the fluids that is present in your body which is going to help in circulation are called as body fluids. So, there are two body fluids in human body that is your blood and blood. These are the two very very important body fluids pasangla. So you read the pati na information na na clearer pati ke poro. So circulation na inna. Circulation na na circle. The fluid is circulating around the body, correct? So like your blood, it carries oxygenated blood from the heart to all the body parts, and all the deoxygenated blood is carried to the heart. So idha na 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 circulation na soli solro. Idha rongo rongo mukhya mana vishyo. So na na blood da pati pa ke poro, blood pa pati pa ke poro. So what does this human circulatory system compose of? Okay, it is composed of three important things. Pasangla, heart is good, blood is good, blood vessels is good. Okay, so we call it as a cardiovascular system. It why vascular because it's going to provide oxygen. Okay, and the study of heart is called cardiology. So other entity also we they are calling it as human circulatory system as cardiovascular system. Okay, so what is the function of this cardiovascular system? It is used in the transport of nutrients. Okay, so our our body will digest our food. Your food will come. It is going to transport it to all the other body parts. Okay, then it also helps in the transport of water, gases, waste, and chemical signal to and from all the parts of the body. So I will now going to circulate the system or the entire aim or function. So blood. So blood and blood in the part, you can see this picture, correct? So blood and blood or a human being when you blood and blood centrifuge for now, when the blood and blood rent the layer of food, you can see the picture. One of them is formed elements, okay? And then the thick car go. In the one of them is plasma. So plasma and blood in the part, it is the liquid portion of blood. In the one of them is the liquid portion of blood is called as plasma. Okay, and it makes around 55% of your blood is your plasma. Okay, and the rest of them, which are now but then you percent now are the formed elements and so on. So, in the red color, in the red color, in the red color, in the RBC, in the platelets, in the white buffy structure, in the red color, in the WBC. Okay, so this is how the blood is basically divided into, classified into plasma and formed elements. Okay, so the blood blood of pH in it, it is slightly alkaline. Okay, the pH of blood is 7.4. And now that is the slightly alkaline. So we solve that. Okay, it constitutes around 55 percent of the blood in the person. Now, from the plasma. Okay, and this plasma is made up of 90 to 92 percent of water. And then there is a funny plasma. Okay, so in the that's why they tell you drink a lot of water to maintain your body fluid volume. Maintain for that. Okay, plasma is very very important issue. Okay, in the plasma, you have proteins. Okay, all in the 
where it is destroyed. So, Adnana Nama Screener, the graveyard of RB seems all wrong. Okay, these are some very, very important things about erythrocytes. Ipo nama, leukocytes pati paka. Leukocytes nama enna so wrong. WB scenes or not, okay, because they don't have any pigment, they appear colorless, okay. So, in an healthy man, healthy man, you have an average of 6,000 to 8,000 mm cube. One mm cube of blood length, blood length, R-R-R length, a time WBC work, you need to so long, okay. And the male and the, it can be very, very dangerous, okay. So, leukocytes are short-lived. And the rent group are classified by row. One of the granulocytes, in one of the agranulocytes. Granulocytes are in the person. You can see inside the cell, you can see granular structures. Other than all the granulocytes and so on. Here you don't see any granular structure. That is why we call it as agranulocytes. Okay. And they are nucleated. They have nucleus. And the nucleus are of different shape. Other than the men and so on. Poly Morphonuclear and so on. So, what is polymorphonuclear? Different shape of nucleus is called as polymorphonuclear. So, if we have neutrophils, eosinophil, basophil, monocyte, and lymphocyte, so come on, let's continue. So, do like this video, share, and comment and subscribe. Okay, if we have types of WBC, we will see that. Neutrophil, neutrophil and so on, because it takes up neutral stain. Okay, and it is multi-lobe. It is multi-lobe. It is going to help in phagocytosis. It is going to help in cell eating. Okay, then you have eosinophil. It is going to fight against parasitic infection. Again, the infection in the eosinophil one is So other than that, acidophil is wrong. Okay, we call eosinophil as acidophil. Then you have basophil, which is also called as cyanophils. Okay, this is going to produce inflammatory and allergic reactions. Okay, then you also have agranulocytes, which are of two types, lymphocytes and monocytes. So lymphocytes, there are two types, three types actually, B lymphocyte, T lymphocytes and natural killer cell. They are going to help in immunity. They are very much responsible for specific immune response, rombo rombo specific aromona, that is going to be very very useful. Then you also have monocytes which is help in fighting of bacteria and viruses. Monocytes also help in phagocytosis. Okay. So if you want to clear up eosinophil, basophil and neutrophil. So your neutrophil is the most abundant WBC. Okay. So they are phagocytic. Phagocytic man man. If you have a pathogen in Nanchikoma. It is not a neutrophil, okay? So, this pathogen will be engulfed by my neutrophil and digested. Phago means eating, cytosis means cell, okay? Engulfing of the cell or eating of the cell is called as phagocytosis pasangla, okay? It is the most abundant WBC. Then you have cyanophils. It is the least. It is the only person who is one person. They secrete histamine, serotonin, heparin and are involved in inflammatory reaction. Okay, you have to say that 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 you have to say that. Lastly, I have eosinophil. That is acidophil. It is resisting infection and associated with allergic reaction. So, rumba rumba mukyo. Which is the most abundant WBC pasangla? It is your neutrophil. Okay? Least abundant is your acidophil. Okay, if you have monocytes, it is 8% and the main function is phagocytosis. What are leukocytes? Mention its type with its function. Very important, 5 more questions in your board exam. Okay, then you have lymphocytes. Lymphocytes are 20-25%. Okay, they are responsible for specific immunity. Okay, in the 12th chapter of the human health and diseases. That is what we clear up. Okay, the B cell produce antibody. T cell destroy virus infected cells. So B lymphocyte, T lymphocyte and monocyte. Okay. So this is about your A granulocyte. Now the last up on the word is platelets. Okay. Now platelets and then so on. Thrombocytes and so on. Okay. They are fragments produced from megakaryocytes. So this is a very very important NCRT line. Or neat exam line or NCQs. Platelets are formed from dash. 
specialized cells called dash megakaryocyte அதோட கவுண்ட் என்ன பசங்களா ஒரு லட்சத்தி ஐம்பதாயிரத்துல இருந்து மூணு லட்சத்தி ஐம்பதாயிரம் பிளேட்லெட்ஸ் இருக்கும் ஒரு ஒரு எம்எம் கியூப் ஆஃப் பிளட்லையும் ஓகே இதோட ஃபங்க்ஷன் என்ன வெரைட்டி ஆஃப் சப்ஸ்டன்ஸ் விச் ஆர் இன்வால்வ் இன் கோஆிலேஷன் ஆர் கிளாட்டிங் ஆஃப் பிளட் இப்ப உங்களுக்கு ஒரு அடிப்படுது ஒரு ரெண்டு நிமிஷம் பிளட் வருமா ஒரு அஞ்சு நிமிஷம் பிளட் வருமா அதுக்கப்புறம் பிளட் வந்து தானா வந்து கிளாட் ஆகுமா பிரீடிங் ஸ்டாப் ஆகுமா அங்க வந்து ஒரு ரெட் கலர்ல ஒரு கிளாட் மாதிரி ஃபார்ம் ஆகும் ஸோ திஸ் பிளேட்ல is going to help in coagulation of blood and is going to prevent the loss of blood okay in the in the platelets count kammi aayenga it is going to result in a lot of clotting disorders like your dengue okay yes now this is the overview romba alaga kuduthirukanga plasma or pakko formed elements or pakko the cellular elements or pakko okay enna enna no function nu clear ah kuduthirukanga okay this could be a revision for all of you guys yes now we shall continue with the functions of blood important mood mark question okay transport oxygen carbon dioxide nutrient hormone heat and waste correct ah oh excrete the waste it is collected it is the blood the blood is now carried to your kidneys okay it is carrying all the waste to the kidneys blood is carrying all the deoxygenated blood to the lungs correct ah deoxygenated nutrients nutrients ellame in the blood la panadha or transporting medium nu sonnala it is going to regulate ph body temperature and water content of the cell it is also going to protect against loss through clotting and against diseases uh, through phagocytic wbcs and antibodies so they are very very important for defense so idella na romba romba mukkiyama padike vendiya vishayam important three mark question functions of blood okay so now we are going to see a very very important process coagulation of blood anju mark kana kelvi so coagulum na enna clot na enna adha dhaan namma paaka porom so what is this what is happening if i go over the or in sight of injury irundhu vachukku okay i will use this color this is your blood vessel okay injury aagudhu adha injury aana edathula modhala vandu accumulate aagakoodiya cell is your plate okay the platelets accumulate at the site of injury okay and this platelets is going to release a chemical called thromboplastin or thrombokinase rendu me correct okay in the thromboplastin and the thrombokinase is going to convert your prothrombin in the name of your platelet la platelet produce panna kodiya or protein okay prothrombin into thrombin it is going to convert my fibrinogen okay it will convert my fibrinogen into fibrin okay so that's very very important my plasma protein which is insoluble okay idu vandu insoluble insoluble ana protein fibrinogen the soluble fibrinogen is converted into insoluble fibrin okay it is going to form a mesh like network like this indha mari or mesh maarina or network form aavo adha da nama vande fibrin nu solrom pasangala so that is what we call as clot so inga paathina you can see here this is what is happening okay it is a clot or coagulum mainly formed by the network of threads called fibrin very 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 important okay anju mark kana question ninga the cascade idu vandha namu or cascade mechanism nu solrom cascade na one protein activating the other the other protein activating the other chain reaction nu solrala so adha nam cascade mechanism nu solrom it is a homeostasis fine in the clotting activity enna nadakum you will lose all the blood yes or no the blood will be lost from the body and the person will die the clotting mechanism romba romba mukkiya to maintain homeostasis homeostasis na enna pasanga to maintain a constant internal environment is called homeostasis okay so a blood clot is a gel that contains formed elements of the blood entangled in fibrin okay idella enna enna fibrin threads so the fibrin threads enna pannona anga or mesh maarina structure form pannum so that there is no oozing out of blood enter blood to veliya varama kaapathu okay that's very very important so entire mechanism vandu inga explain pannirukke inga paarenga blood vessel function platelets form a clot and you will have the thromboplastin or thrombokinase prothrombin is converted into thrombin and thrombin converts fibrinogen into fibrin and or metal or முக்கியமான நிலநிலையம் தேவைப்படுது மெட்டல் கிடையாது 
calcium calcium is very 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 important for blood clotting okay so calcium deficiency irundalo nariya perku in the blood clotting mechanism irukadu bleeding gums irukum because vitamin c is very 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 important okay yeah next we will talk about the blood groups so a blood groups was discovered by a very great person called karl landsteiner who discovered blood group karl landsteiner அவருக்கு நைன்டீன் தேர்ட்டிலேஜன் okay so rendu vidamana antigen irukke a and b antigen adha da nama paakaporam inga paarenga a blood group na inga they will have a antigen on their surface okay b blood group na inga they will have b antigen on their surface okay ab blood group na inga a antigen um irukke b antigen um irukke okay o blood group na antigen e kadaiyadu there is no antigen on a person who, who is having o blood group or rbc la and the antigen e irukada person la okay that's very 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 important to understand okay a b a b and o okay i hope it's clear antibodies are proteins produced in response to this antigen if a antigen irundhuchna b antibody irukum okay adanna unga enga irukum plasma la irukum inda antibody enga irukum plasma la irukum okay antigen enga irukum surface of rbc la irukum surface of rbc rendu me ரொம்ப ரொம்ப முக்கியமான விஷயம் ஓகே யூ ஹேவ் டு அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் இட் வெரி வெரி கிளியர்லி சோ ஃபார் எவ்ரி ஆன்டிஜன் தேர் இஸ் a ரெஸ்பெக்டிவ் ஆன்டிபாடி தட் இஸ் பிரசன்ட் ஓகே ஹியர் இட் இஸ் b ஹியர் இட் இஸ் a அண்ட் இன் நோட் people with ab blood group have no antibodies ஓகே people with o blood group have both antibody a and b ஓகே அவ்வளவு இன்ட்ரஸ்டிங்கா இருக்கு பாருங்க ஒன்னொண்ணுமே எஸ் சோ वी ஆர் கோயிங் டு அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் திஸ் யூசிங் a table okay this is the table which is given in your ncrt so you can see a b a b and o you can see these are the antigen present on the rbc you can see the antibodies that are present and a blood group can donate donors group so we are to donate for a and o okay b can donate to b and o okay a b can actually receive blood from a b a b and o o can receive blood only from o okay that universal recipient universal donor adu romba mukkiyama padikiram okay ipo nama vande ab vande universal recipient avanga vande yaar kitta irundha vena blood vaanga ab kitta irundha vaanga b kitta irundha vaanga o kitta irundha vaanga ye avanga vande ella kitta irundha blood vaanga romba simple because they don't have any antibodies so the coagulation reaction in nadakadu adhe nama o blood group vande universal donor nu solrom you want the a ki blood kudukla a b ki blood kudukla b ki blood kudukla okay and also o ki also blood kudukla yena they do not have any antigens so the coagulation nadakave nadakadu okay so that's very very important to understand apdi maathi kudutha ipo a blood group irukku avangalukku b blood kudutha enna nadakum indha mari clumping nadakum okay inga paare indha mari clumping nadakum and that can result in internal clotting and dying okay inga paare a blood group ku a blood group da kudukonu adu positive ku positive da kudukonu negative ku negative blood group da kudukonu and the negative blood group pathi quick ah nama pesom okay so that's very very important you can see here o blood group is called universal donor because they do not have any antigen so they can donate blood to all the other blood types b a ab o and b okay and ab blood group is called universal recipient because they can actually accept blood from all the other groups so romba mukhyamana question okay yes rh factor so and romba mukhyamana vishayatha pathi pesa poro rh factor so ipo unga rbc ka இருந்தாஜன் இல்லாட்டி அவங்க வந்து நெகட்டிவ் பிளட் குரூப் 
ஓகே அண்ட் இன்னொரு இன்ட்ரெஸ்டிங் ஆன விஷயம் என்னன்னா இந்த நெகட்டிவ் பிளட் குரூப் ரொம்ப ரொம்ப ரேர் பசங்களா ஓகே எண்பது பர்சன்ட் ஹியூமன் பீயிங்கு ஆர்ஜ் பாசிட்டிவ் பிளட் குரூப் தான் இருக்கு சோ நெகட்டிவ் குரூப்ஸ் இப்போ ஆக்சிடென்ட்டோ ட்ராமாவோ ஏதாச்சும் ஆச்சுன்னா அந்த நெகட்டிவ் பிளட் குரூப் இருக்கவங்களுக்கு பிளட் கிடைக்கிறது ரொம்ப ரொம்ப கஷ்டம் வென் கம்பேர் டு தட் ஆஃப் யூர் பாசிட்டிவ் குரூப்ஸ் ஓகே சோ வாட் இஸ் திஸ் யூ ஆர் ஸ்டடி அபவுட் ஒன் வெரி வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் திங் ஓகே அதுதான் எரத்ரோ பிளாஸ்டோசிஸ் பீட்டாலிஸ் ஓகே சோ இந்த ஆரஞ்சு எதுக்கு சொன்னாங்க பிகாஸ் இட் வாஸ் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் டிஸ்கவர்ட் இன் ரீசஸ் மங்கி அதனால தான் நம்ம அதை ஆரஞ்சுன்னு சொல்றோம் okay in the erythroblastosis fetalis in rather it is a condition that occurs due to rh incompatibility epa la rh und incompatible a irukko appo la inda condition nadakku i have very beautiful picture all of you listen to me the father is rh positive appa and rh positive amma and negative okay ipo kolanda first paraka pora kolanda kandipa positive a irukka chance irukka illaya you can see the fetus is positive whereas the mother is negative okay first pregnancy oru prachne irukadu ana kolanda paraka po yes or no the fetal blood and the maternal blood comes in contact rendu me contact la varum appo contact la varumode the mother is exposed to all the rh antigen inga paranga the rh antigen amma ku enter aaguda அப்ப என்னாகும் the mother starts producing antibodies against that particular antigen to kill that antigen okay so if the antigen is killed ana the antibody in our blood stream la irukku mother's blood stream la irukku because these antibodies have something called memory correct ah so they are still there the antibodies are still there in the maternal blood amma oda blood la inno the antibodies irukku okay for second time pregnant avanga second time kolanda trippi positive ah irukku fortunately or unfortunately the child is again positive appo inna nadakku pasangala amma odathula already antibodies irukke and you know the antibodies can cross the placenta correct you have an antibody called igg that can cross the placenta so in the antibody poi placenta cross panni fetus ku la poi fetus oda rbc la da and rh antigen irukke so adu poi destroy panirum okay that is why i call it as hemolytic disease it is having the capacity to lyse the rbc appo inda kolanda enna avo inda kolanda anemic avo okay appo inda sila kolandaiga vaithile irundhoru illa sila kolandaiga perandhone irundhoru okay this is what we call it as erythroblastosis fetalis pasanga romba romba simple romba important ana theory okay so man ipo na kolandaiga epdi erakraanga romba romba re yena once the doctor knows that the mother is negative and the father is positive soon after the first pregnancy odane first pregnancy mudinj odane the doctor is going to give an injection called rogam so the rogam injection enna pannona amma oda immune response adhigamaaradhukku munnadiye and the rh antigen kondu okay once the rh antigens are killed there is no question of rh antibodies so rh antibodies are produce aagadhu so produce on the first second pregnancy la oru prachane irukadhu okay so what are they they are anti rh antibodies okay so idha nam enna solrom anti rh antibodies solrom so this is the treatment for erythroblastosis fetalis marandaradinga pasangala romba romba mukyam ipo nam vandha the last part of today's session lymph pathopo so what is lymph lymph is a colorless fluid pasangala it is a tissue fluid adha vandha nama tissue fluid nu solrom illa interstitial fluid nu solrom so imagine pannunga idhula or tissues okay the tissues are sutti blood vessel irukku correct ah in you blood vessel irukku in you blood vessel irukku so as the blood is flowing through the blood vessel you can see some excess fluid that is coming out so the fluid and the apply just drain out down correct ah that fluid that excess fluid that drains out is called as interstitial fluid or tissue fluid romba romba mukyam it has same mineral distribution as that in plasma and plasma la irukka adhe minerals tha in the interstitial fluid lu irukku idoda function enna exchange of nutrients and gases between the blood and the cell always occurs through this fluid in the in the cell ku in the blood ku nadula exchange nadakkanona it happens through your interstitial fluid okay very very important lines okay the interstitial fluid mooliyama da ellame nadakkum okay yes 
Then, a elaborate network of vessels called the lymphatic system. So, in the fluid, we connect under the clip. We have blood vessels. We have a lymphatic system, and that colorless fluid which is collected is called as lymph. Okay. So, this specialized lymphocyte in the lymph planner, they have specialized cells called lymphocytes, which is very, very important to understand. So, lymph is also an important carrier for nutrients, hormones and fats are absorbed through lymph in the lacteals present in the intestinal wall. So, in the intestinal wall, the finger-like projections called villi. What is your finger? Okay, you guys have studied it in 10th standard, right? So, in the villi, the lacteal and so on, structure. Okay, this lacteal help in absorption of fat and it happens through lymph. Okay, every line is a potent possible question in your exam. Okay, we shall continue now. So, now last time we talked about circulatory pathways. So, there are two different circulatory pathways. One of them is open, one of them is closed. Okay, open circulatory system. One of them is the present of the invertebrates. It is present in arthropods and mollusks. Okay, open mind. The blood is pumped by the heart through large vessel into open spaces or body cavities called sinuses. You know, sinuses in the other open space. Okay, like your cockroach, the blood is pumped directly into the body cavity. Okay, so other than animals and chordates have a closed circulatory system. Okay, large way closed circulatory system. So what is happening in this closed circulatory system? Blood is pumped by the heart. Okay, heart and the blood vessels for the blood vessel and the arteries, veins, capillaries and the rope of specialized and the blood vessels are on the closed type of circulatory system. Okay, coming to your core veins, all your vertebrates, okay, they all possess heart. Okay, on the fishes are the toe, aves are the toe, okay, fishes are the we will write one second, amphibians. Reptiles, okay, apes and mammals. Correct? Huh? These are the five main groups in your colleagues. On the fishes, the, the heart is two chambers. Render chamber, one auricle, one ventricle. Okay, and then on the amphibians, the reptiles, the moon chamber, three chamber. Okay, two auricle, one ventricle. Except for cockroach, the crocodile. Crocodile, the four chamber heart. Okay, then you have apes and mammals. They have four chambers. Okay. The Patinam and Detail, we will see. Okay. So here you can see open type circulatory system. Blood is not enclosed in the blood vessel, but it is pumped into a cavity called chemosy, where it's surrounding the organ and returns to the heart through ostia. Very easy. Blood is called hemolymph. Blood is called hemolymph. And our blood to go, lymph to go, in the one day, the distinguishing part of the Where is it found? It's found in insects and molluscans. Okay. And then we have the closed type. And then we have the closed type. In the one day, blood is contained inside blood vessel. Circulating unidirectionally formed heart. Okay. Systemic circulation, pulmonary circulation. It's a little complicated. Blood vessels are there. You have your arteries, veins and capillaries which are the three important blood vessels. Here the blood, blood and the interstitial fluid are indistinguishable. Means what? I can indistinguishable, distinguishable. I can make, I can make out the difference. Okay. They are found in vertebrates and earthworms. Okay. Or your animals. If you have more of the circulation, single circulation. Incomplete double circulation and complete double circulation. It is a quick path. So, single circulation is not in the fishes. In the blue, it is not in the deoxygenated blood. In the red, it is not in the oxygenated blood. Okay. So, in the heart, it is in the chamber. It is in the chamber. With the single atrium. Atrium is not in the chamber. Or equal to the chamber. It is not in the chamber. Or equal to the chamber. So, if I tell oracle, then remember it as atrium, okay. The atrium collects the blood that has been written from the body. In the narathal pasangla, first, in the blood rika, deoxygenated blood rika, in the body, in order gills it body, it is getting oxygenated. It is going to all other body parts and again it is getting deoxygenated. It is returning to your heart. 
ओके इंगे योर हार्ट इज रिसीविंग वीनस ब्लड ओके सो इन्ने ब्लड पसंद ला वीनस वीनस ना है ना डीऑक्सीजनेटेड ब्लड अब ना अगर ना सिंगल सर्कुलेशन में सो रहे द ब्लड एंटर्स द हार्ट ओनली वंस सो वी कॉल दिस एस सिंगल सर्कुलेशन पसंद ला हार्ट एक बोले गिल्स एक बोले तिरपी बॉडी एक बोले तिरपी हार्ट एक बोले अब ना इधर आओ हमारा सिंगल सर्कुलेशन नेक्स्ट वी विल टॉक अबाउट इनकंप्लीट डबल सर्कुलेशन सो वेयर इज इट सीन इट इज सीन इन एम्फीबियंस एंड रेप्टाइल्स एक्सेप्ट क्रोकोडाइल्स क्रोकोडाइल्स का फोर चेंबर हार्ट दे फॉलो अ पैटर्न सिमिलर टू एव्स इन मैमल्स ओके दे हैव अ टू सर्क्यूट बट ओनली थिंग इज हियर द ब्लड इज मिक्सिंग द ऑक्सीजनेटेड एंड द डीऑक्सीजनेटेड ब्लड मिक्सेस ओके அதனால தான் நாம இந்த இன்கம்ப்ளீட் டபுள் सर्कुलेशन னு சொல்றோம் ஓகே சோ தி லெஃப்ட் ஏட்ரியம் திஸ் இஸ் யுவர் லெஃப்ட் ஏட்ரியம் இட் ரிசீவ்ஸ் ஆக்ஸிஜனேட்டட் பிளட் எப்பவுமே லெஃப்ட் சைடு ஆஃப் தி ஹார்ட் ரிசீவ்ஸ் ஆக்ஸிஜனேட்டட் தி ரைட் சைடு ரிசீவ்ஸ் டீஆக்ஸிஜனேட்டட் ஓகே சோ फ्रॉम லெஃப்ட் ஏட்ரியம் இட் கோஸ் டு லெஃப்ட் வென்ட்ரிகல் அதே மாதிரி தி ரைட் சைடு ரிசீவ்ஸ் டீஆக்ஸிஜனேட்டட் பிளட் நவ போத் ஆஃப் தெம் மிக்ஸ் அண்ட் தென் தே ஆர் ஃபார்ம்ட் அப் okay so it this why we call it as incomplete double circulation because there is mixing of oxygenated and deoxygenated blood okay so enga nadakkudhu pasangala adult amphibians and most reptiles except your crocodiles okay next you have complete double circulation mammals and apes okay apes na and birds two separate circulatory pathway is seen and you don't see any mixing of your deoxygenated and oxygenated blood okay in the one the blood and the rent vaati heart enter pano okay once the heart pumps uh, deoxygenated blood okay to your lungs okay other time it is going to pump the oxygenated blood to all the body parts in the double circulation the rent vidha irukku onnu vande pulmonary circulation okay in one the systemic circulation okay so what is pulmonary circulation romba clear ah solra paanga heart la rend lungs correct ah deoxygenated blood go from heart to lungs and from again lungs to heart idana nama vande we call it as uh, pulmonary circulation so now deoxygenated blood heart ku pogum in the lungs la now oxygenate avo idu thirupi nama heart ku pump avo you can see here the deoxygenated blood is pumped to the lungs and again here it is oxygenated it is entering my heart again simple okay are you know systemic na you can see all the deoxygenated blood is collected okay from the vena cava superior inferior adala inda nam clear ah padipom heart pathi pesumbodhu okay again it is pumped okay again there will be supply of oxygenated blood so rendu vaathi varadanga idu vandu nam double circulation nu solrom and it is a very very true form of circulation okay so the left and the right atria receives and pumps oxygenated blood and deoxygenated blood respectively into ventricles on the back right atria it supplies deoxygenated blood pumps deoxygenated blood left atria pumps oxygenated blood into the respective ventricles so now in the ventricle in the part of it is going to pump it out without any mixing of oxygenated and deoxygenated blood in our line romba romba mukyam in the oxygenated blood with the deoxygenated blood do mix agave agadu pasangala that is why i call this as a complete double circulation okay so anatomy of heart vandu nam kandipa next class la padikalam i hope uh, it is clear i have made the video very very crisp okay so to the point from your exam point of view even for your neat exam point of view if you learn this much more than enough okay so na solinda evlo neat blood irukku nu ketrunda the amount of blood that is present in human body is 5 liter pasangala okay i have few questions let me see how many of you will answer it in the comment section which is the most abundant wbc edhu vandu romba romba abundant ana wbc in the question number 1 so question 1 and potter answer podunga comment section la question number 2 which is the most abundant blood cell okay romba romba abundant ah iruka blood cell edhu okay that also please put it as question number 2 and do write the answers in the comment section thank you for decoding biology with me let's meet in at another very useful session thank you so much